nobody here. <laughs> I love that stuff. You're with the. Uh, ooh. Oh. Nobody here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, folks? Isn't that beautiful? Tell me that's not beautiful. Look what God gives us. Look at what God gives us. All we can take. Everything is in front of us. You grab a sleeping bag, you lay on the ground. It's just, it's so easy. We, we make it so hard. All the politics. You know, it destroys people. People are dying because of the politics. Humans are destroying humans. And that's what's happening. Because look at what God gives us. There is endless amounts of land like this out there. They, don't, they want you to believe that there's not enough land on earth for everybody. Bull shit. Sorry I destroyed the picture by saying that. <laughs> it's like a beautiful picture and then you got my mouth saying that. I know, but yeah. When you, when you go out into the, the, the country and you fly, how could you forget that there's so much open land? I, I'll see like people with scholars. I, I'll see like pro real professional people in high positions that will sit there and do nothing but cry about how there's no land that we're overpopulated. Um, not true. There's it's so much open land. It's just that they're, they, I mean, they, as in, the people that run the world have an agenda. They get paid money. There's, there's, there's been, and a lot of us know this. There's, there's been, um, there's been all kinds of energy proposals. People create energy all the time free energy and they don't want to take it because they want to keep charging this money the powers that be a lot of us know that and you look out and there's endless amounts of nature so it's just really about riding on the coattail of everybody else damn I mean do you blame them if if seven billion people said hey here's a dollar would you would you say no thank you yeah the problem is is that they're murdering people People that come out with technologies that can help us. And if you look around, God gives you everything. So again, it's very, very beautiful. The nature. The nature. <laughs> it's very, it's very, very beautiful nature. And God gives it to us free. He gave the planet to mankind. And we had domination over this place at one time. But Adam and Eve relinquished power to the devil. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Fade right there into this. Into that. Well, if you look around, you'll see a lot of land. There's land, there's plenty of land for everybody. There's beautiful land, plenty of it. The land is rich. It's rich with everything we need. They can, they can do what they're doing even with the nasty fuel and charge us a dollar a gallon, 50 cents a gallon and still make a fat profit. Don't get it wrong. These are empires that are collecting gold because gold means armies. Armies means war. War means I take you over and conquer your ass and your mind. And we don't want that now, do we? I wish I had some coffee. I'll give my left lung for some coffee. There's plenty of land for everybody. Now they want you to believe there's not. Look, look, look at look at this. Let me, let me turn this around. Look at this. Tell me that's not beautiful. I'll cut the sound out of this and have some Mozart.
Now what you need to know, Americans are guilty. Had people thought more how sip you know? But the powers that be wanted to make sure that they have the monopoly over everything. And that's what you're seeing now. There's no reason for people to be starving or to be hurting. There's plenty of resources for everybody. When I went to school, the teacher even said there was plenty of resources, enough resources to feed seven planets the size of Earth. Seven planets the size of Earth, there's enough resources. And world hunger is solvable. With tractors and programs that could run the tractors for us, tractors become robotics, they become robots. You can actually have machines do all the work for everybody. This is what they don't want you to know. Technology has now been but they have more advanced technology than that. And that's why they decided they want to kick you and me off the earth. They want this place for themselves. They want life extensions. They want to clear the earth of us. And they actually believe God's going to sit back and just let this happen. <laughs> oh man, isn't that funny? They forget there's one problem with their plan. This place isn't free. This place is owned by God. Okay, when mankind it was given to mankind, it was more of a lease. The contract's almost up, baby. The devil fooled mankind. We ate from the tree of knowledge. We relinquished our power to the devil. We lost our authority. However, that contract's almost up. <clears throat> the devil knows this, and that's why he's, uh, he's freaking out, because he has little time left. Get your heart right with Jesus. There's plenty of water and food for everybody. You've been lied to, my friend. You've been lied to all your life that this place is overcrowded. Bullshit. There's enough resources for seven planets the size of Earth. We can all have land, water, and food. They don't want you to know that. There's enough land and food and water for everyone to have families, have your own wife, your own husband, and to start a beautiful family and to live a nice, beautiful life. Life extensions, you could probably live to be 130 if you take care of yourself with life extensions. However, Christ is coming back real soon. So the devil is either gonna make a move or God will allow someone that's not even prophesied to, to, to do the same steps the Antichrist would have done. The world is ending, my friends. Christ is ready to come back.